Uniform circular motion and gravitation. Rotational angle and angular velocities. We define the rotational angle of data theta to be the ratio of the arc length to the radius of curvature. The unit of delta theta is in radian. We define angular velocity as the ratio of change of angle. Omega equals delta theta over delta t. Linear and angular velocity are connected to the following way. Linear velocity v equals radius r times angular velocity omega, or omega equals velocity divided by radius. Centripetal acceleration. The figure shows an object moving in a circular path at constant speed. The direction of instantaneous velocity is shown at two points along the path. The centripetal acceleration is in direction of change in velocity, which points directly toward the center of rotation. Centripetal acceleration equals velocity squared divided by radius r, which is the acceleration of the object in the circle of radius r at the velocity of v. Centripetal and centrifugal forces. Any net force causing uniform circular motion is called a centripetal act force. The direction of a centripetal force is toward the center of curvature, just like centripetal acceleration. So Fe equals mc So by using the expression for a centripetal acceleration, A, from previous page, we can get two expressions for centripetal force the following way. Fc equals m times velocity squared divided by radius, or mass times r times angular velocity omega squared. Let us now take a mental ride on a merry-go-round. If you look at the two pictures, bottom of PowerPoint, and first, you can see a rider on a merry-go-round feels as if he's being thrown off. This fictitious force is called the centrifugal force. From second picture, you can find centripetal force and its direction. 